Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we will see how to create a simple counter application in Java. You can also get the source code of this project from the link in the description. So let's get started. So I am inside IntelliJ IDE and let's create a brand new project. So just click on file new and project. There Java will be selected by default. So just click on next. Now here just check mark on the box and click next. Name your project. Let's say in my case I should name it counter app and let's click finish. So there you go we have our new project created. Now by default Java gives us main class. So let's replace the class name with counter and it will give you a warning. So just hover over the warning and click on the bulb icon to resolve the issue. And after that just click on the main option at the top. Just name your package same as your class name. After that you will see we have no more issues. Now to create a GUI application we need to import two of the Java packages. So first of all you need all the stuff from javax.swing and secondly you need all the things from java.awt.event and that's all the things you need. Now let's make our class to implement from action listener so that we can override one of the method inside action listener interface. And let's also define that method inside our counter class as public void action performed and let's pass the arguments as action event with small e as an object. And let's also add at the rate override before this method. After that it is the time to declare our variables. So first of all we need a frame. So just write jframe and let's give it a name as frame. And a frame basically holds all the GUI components. So after that we need a text field. So just write jText field and let's give it a name as text field. And finally I need a button. So just declare it as j button and let's give it a name as button. Now we are done with the declaration of GUI components. Now let's create another variable as public int count and set its initial value to 0. After that it's time to initialize our variables and for that we will be using constructor method. So as you know that a constructor name should match the class name and it has no return type. And inside the constructor function first of all let's initialize our frame as frame equal to new jframe. And let's provide the name of our application that is counter app. After that we can set the size of the frame. So just write frame dot set size and let's make it 420 by 250. After that let's write frame dot set layout to null. So this will draw our frame. Now let's initialize our text field as text field equal to new j text field and let's set the bounds as 195 from the x axis, 25 from the y axis, width of 100 and a height of 60. And let's write text field dot set border to null because we don't need the border around the text. And we also want to set its editable to false so it will make the text read only. Now we are done with the text field and let's also initialize our button and let's name our button as count and let's also call the set bounds method to position our button and finally let's add the action listener to our button and let's pass this as a parameter. For now we don't need this object but if you have multiple events then you can use this to distinguish between different buttons. And last but not least we have to add all these components to the frame. So just add the text field, the button and finally let's set the visibility property of our frame to true. And let's also create the object of our counter class so that our constructor should work and should initialize the variables. Now let's run our program and there you go we have our UI drawn but nothing happens if I try to click on the button because we have not written any code for that. So every time I click on the button the action performed method calls because we have added the action listener to our button. 
So let's use the count variable at the top and let's write count plus plus inside the action performed method. And let's display our count variable inside of the text field using one of the method of text field called as set text. So just write text field dot set text and let's pass the count variable inside the set text method concatting with empty string because the set text method only accepts a string. So that's it you have written the code for the counter to work so let's run our program and there you go if I click the button the value inside the text field is incrementing and we have this counter application works and also you can change the incrementing number let's say you want to increase the count variable with 2 then you just need to write count equal to count plus 2 instead of count plus plus and that's it your application will behave differently and I encourage you to practice and enhance this app with few of the more features like you can add increment and decrement button to lower and higher the value. Similarly you can improve the design a little bit and this is the best way to learn to code. So that's it for this video. I hope you find this video helpful. For more videos like this make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon next to it. And if you want to support me then you can do it on Patreon with as little amount as $2. The link to my Patreon page is given in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.